Right, I'm in a Druid's temple. Here once Druids trod in times of yore and stained their altars of the victim's gore. Here now the Christian ransom from above adore a God, O oh mercy and of love. The Banwell Heritage Group. Consolidation repair of line cluster walls. Kevin Williams, Julia had. Doe, Lime Repair Limited for Banwell Caves Heritage Group 2013. Someone told me that there are caves here but they're closed at the moment. Druid's Grotto or Druid's Temple. It was built in 1834 to 35 and originally known as the Lower Grotto. Its purpose was to remind visitors how Christianity had replaced a pagan world destroyed by the biblical flood. Clients for the consolidation repair of the Plaster Wars Bramwell Caves Heritage Group, Spring 2013. And there they are again, just they've got another little plaque put up there. So here we are, folks. It's a little Druid's Grotto, little Druid's Temple. Here's some. Oh, look, there's actually a dead animal there. Oh, I didn't see straight away. Oh, it's worth coming just to see if I get this far. It's got lots of um, funny brickwork and everything. Hold on. Something's just coming, because I don't know if you're allowed. Let's wait for that tractor to leave. Don't want to get kicked out at this stage, do I? I wonder if they had... So these were sits where the druids would sit on these seats, look. And here's the slab. But there's actually, apparently there's actually caves as well here. Oh, he's backing up. Wait a minute. I've got no idea where this big lorry is going. Oh, he's coming right up here. Oh, he's going back down again. Now he's going back where he come from. Strange. Right, I'm just going to wander around a minute before I go more further exploring by the woods. So before I go in there, which looks like a... David Bowie's Labyrinth, isn't it? <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it? It's lovely to find things like this. Banwell Bone Cave. Spite of special scientific interest, the Bone Cave at Banwell is famous for the fossil remains of Ice Age mammals. A vast cache of bones was excavated between 1825 and 1840 by William Beard on behalf of the Bishop of Bath and Wells. At that time, the prevailing view was that Noah's flood caused the catastrophic influx of unfortunate animals evident at this and other bone caves. Today we know that the animals lived during the last ice age, a period which lasted many thousands of years. Most of the bones found in the caves date from the early part of the last ice age between 80,000 and 50,000 years ago. It's a, spite of, it's a site of special scientific interest. It's of nationally and internationally important to its rich but fragile concentration of Ice Age mammal remains. Like the greater and lesser horseshoe bats use the caves for winter hibernation. Please be careful when in the cave. Access is by kind permission of the owners who won their English Nature Management Award in 2000 for their superb care of the site. Further information is to Miss, Mr. R and Mrs. Y Sergeant and Mr. J Haynes, the Cave Spanwell, BS296NA. There, there are open days in the summer and private groups can be accommodated at other times. So I don't know where the caves are exactly, but um, what I'm going to do at the moment is just explore the outside before I go sort of around there or up there. Um, 
and, and down there a bit. I might just go down here a bit first before I go over that way. Because I'm not quite sure if there were any signs coming up. Because this is the wood up through here, see? There might be another plaque that I might have missed because I went a different way. So I just want to come down here a bit because there might be a track I've got to follow. Yeah, so what all I'm doing is trying to see. I, I don't think you're allowed to even go in the wood, I'm not sure. But there is a track that way, we might try it anyway. What we're going to do in now, it says Banwell Caves there, look. Banwell Caves. I'm just going to turn off and take a picture so far, over and out. Right, I'm out here. I'm just going to have a general look round at the moment. So apparently because of the virus. But here we are, we're going in the labyrinth because of the virus. A lot of stuff's closed apparently. This is probably the entrance to the caves. And it'd be shut, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's closed. Low headroom, 64 inches. In the 1820s, Bishop George Henry Law erected a number of plaques. Here let the scoffer of God's holy word behold the traces of a deluged world. Here let him learn in Balmwell Cave to adore the Lord of Heaven, then go and scoff no more. And there you've got the entrance there, all locked up. You won't be able to see anything. I'll take a picture in a minute. Pause on this eminence for not the sea that stretches in its amp amplitude below Though in proclamation the majest majesty and might of the Creator so distinct speaks the visible dominion and the power and might of that Creator as this cave strewed with the debris of a world destroyed. This plaque was on the entrance to the Bone Cave, Banwell. So we can't go in at the moment. It's open in the summer usually. And you can make arrangements but at the moment because of the covid thing so i just got to turn off and take some photos of the flash <laughs> 